There's Zoxy Boxing, Wayne Don, the Canary Wolf, Joshua Boxy about to fight for the, you know, the vac vacant British title. How does it feel to uh, to be competing for this uh, Longsday belt? Um, it's an amazing opportunity, um, one that I have to take advantage of. But I'm cool, man. The weighing has been done. Um, we've both weighed in, seen each other on to fight now, until the bell goes. But I'm good, man. I'm blessed. I feel good. Is this, uh, correct me, is this the lightest you've ever been? Um, what, what did I come in at? I can't remember. It's one, seven, I saw 173. Oh, yeah, apparently 173. So, um, is it the lightest? I don't know. but. Camp's been good, man. I've, I've done things the right way. The way um, every fighter works hard to make the weight, do you know what I mean? But I'm quite good with my weight. Um, I've got to do what I've got to do, but I still make the weight. Well, I, I didn't see you like trying to gulp so many any drinks or normally after like weighing, people always want to eat something yeah. or you seemed all right. Like, you, I'm cool, man. I've, yeah? I've had a drink, I'm cool. My energy's coming back up. It was high anyways, but it's getting higher now and I'll go get back to my usual self. Okay, so um, did you did you study um, a little bit of um, because as far as I know, he's like you said, he's won his last ten fights, yeah, and last five fights by knockout, uh, by yeah. knockout. So he's uh, he's a dangerous opponent. It means he could punch. Everyone's especially. dangerous and they can all punch. But um, have I studied him not too much? To be fair with you, I've seen a couple of rounds of him, first and the last round in one of his fights. But have I watched him religiously to be like, okay, he does this, he does that? I haven't. Um, We'll find out when we get in, man. I've prepared and do you know what it is? I concentrate on more what I'm going to do. I don't really look into what they're going to do. As long as I'm improving as a fighter and I'm working on the things that I need to work on and improving in every department for me, that's good enough. So I don't really concentrate too tough on what my opponent is doing. If things go your way, are you looking to um, try and defend it and earn it outright or...? You know, Uncle T, as we know, opportunities will arise from it. So yeah. other fighters nationally might say, OK, boom. We want to fight Boetsy now, so um, first and foremost, let me get the title. Um, I was, I was gonna write, type in something today on my um, Insta story, which you I know? keep up to date <laughs> yeah. with. If I, I need the it. latest boxing news, I think okay, who, who's gonna update me? I go on the gram, I go on Uncle T's page, everything's on there, man. And do you know what? Some of the things you say. I know already because I'm in the industry, but I'm like, how does he know? <laughs> so I gotta give you credit for that, man. You know, you know some stuff, man. You need to, you need to, you need to be one of my links and tell me one or two things. <laughs> I'm available. I'm available. <laughs> I just, I just wouldn't. The things that you don't want me to put out, I won't put out. But, but it's mad though, it's, man. It's a, like you gotta tell us trust. how you're doing it, because even how you put it, you say, okay, if Eddie's done this and Josh has done this and that, 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 it means that's gonna happen. And I'm sitting down there thinking, right, he might be right. So now, nah, fair play to you, man. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, um, in what I do, how I game these things is just I just pick people's brains and I listen to podcasts and everything. And one of the podcasts I listen to is Toe to Toe Sky. Yeah. And um, you was in there in this week okay, and you yeah. said something about when I do finally fight at the yard, I am 100% going to win. I was going to put that, you know how I do yeah, it, I take yeah. a picture of you yeah, yeah. and make a statement. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tell me a little bit more about that. Um, how do you know, how, how could you be 100%? How, what do it's, you see? It's not like how, what do you see, how do you know? It's just, listen man, I'm a fighter and um, when I get in the ring with anyone, I'm 100% beating them. That's that's the mentality. Every fighter is going to have that. If we're, Especially if we're talking about a name in my division. All the fighters will say that, man. Tell any light heavy in this country, do you think you beat Wetsy? They will tell you point blank, 100%. So it's not like, yeah, you've brought up Yard, but not to even just highlight Yard. Like, let's just say, God willing, once I get this title, like I said from the beginning, it makes you number one in the country. Unless someone in your division has got a world title belt or a European belt, it makes you the 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 the, the top of the pack. Do you know what I mean? So um, it's not specifically digging out yards saying, ah, oh, I 100% beat him. Once I get this title, I'll beat anyone like heavy in the country. It's in simple. country. Um, you did say you'll be number one in the country, apart from if they win the title. Um, superior to yeah, the British, su yeah. yeah. What about Callum Johnson? He obviously vacated the title. Exactly. Where do, you, where do you put him in? Do you know what? Until I fight for this belt tomorrow, he's still number one. Because he vacated it as champion. He didn't lose it, he vacated it. Um, and I'm guessing he's going to move on to world level now. Do Does you know it, I mean? Doesn't that make him on top of you? you would say, even though you win the... That leaves room for an argument, yeah. Because, okay, you could be like, one guy would be like, well, who's actually got the damn belt? And by tomorrow night we'll find out who's got the belt. 
and then someone might say actually but he vacated it and he's boxing at world level and I respect people at world level so you could be like okay actually he could be number one he's boxing at world level. Yeah. Well he's all open for discussion that's why we love our We're boxing. Exactly. He is better than he, he is better than him. Exactly. But um, did you watch his fight against him Sean? Unfortunately I missed it. I know the results was a third round knockout to Callum Johnson. Um, congratulations to Mazzotti, he went out there, did what he had to do. So where's Jose Button? I know you don't like to watch so much of it. Where's Jose Button in all this? Do you know anything about... <laughs> we need is, to ask Jose Button himself. Is he fighting? What's going on? To be fair, I don't, yeah, I don't At one really stage, he looks as if they didn't want the fight, but the last few times I've been hearing him speak and his trainer, basically saying you don't even call his name. Yeah. Like, you're scared to call his name. You, uh, I'm scared to call Jose that, Burton's yeah, name. Yeah, you don't, you don't really <laughs> mention his name. That's what Gallagher said. I mean, <laughs> and he said that in the in the total to toe, to toe, to toe podcast. Listen, man, I can only laugh at that. Um, right now, it's Conrad on my mind too. Very well. Yeah. All these other fighters, um, they're there, and, and you know, fair play to them. But yeah, like, I, I I don't know what to say to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't like to say much. You've got a task at hand tomorrow. Let's talk about this beard in this trim. Where where are you gonna get this trim tomorrow? So to, no, it's today, man. Today, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, today, yeah. So I think I'll probably either go back to Croydon yeah. or I'll probably get it done at the hotel. Okay. And Croydon yeah. might be a bit of a stretch from here, so I'll probably get it done at the hotel. It's slider um, cuts, is it? Or? Not slider cuts, but if in doubt, slider cuts is always there. Has it, has it, have you ever got I've, I've cut had to be it? loyal to my barber, who yeah. I've had for a long time. Yes. And he's been doing the damn cuts and he's been he's been making yeah. a good job of it. Let's yeah. not get that yeah. wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, he's going to come down today at about seven. Okay, well... Josh, thanks for your time. Let me leave you no to worries. it to grab some food. What, what are you going to eat now? Because I saw an interview with um, Eric Spence, for example. Yeah. When he finished weighing in, he, he only put in a couple of um, couple more kilos yeah. Well, after in the morning. Yeah. And they was like, yeah, why did you... You didn't put in that much weight? He goes, yeah, yeah, I still have to eat clean. He eats, um, you know, and sweet potatoes, here, salmon. Still, same here, we're still going to eat clean. Yeah. Uh, Pasta, what are you gonna have? Some okay. pasta, some chicken, some fish. Still clean stuff, man. And might go traditional, go back home for the rice and stew, which I haven't had for ages, man. But um, we're still gonna eat. Clean. Would you? Would you eat the, um, the traditional food? Rice Absolutely. and stew. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So right. after the pasta, I'm gonna let that settle, yeah. and then tonight go back home have rice and stew. Um, if my sister's watching this and I don't end up going home, I'm not chatting rubbish. I might come in for that. We never know. Okay, rice and stew. It's well. a must. That's that's the number one dish for me. As long as as long as it's not Jalo, um, Ghanaian jollof rice, then you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, people take no, no take no notice of what you're saying. If you're ever offered jollof rice, if it's not the Ghanaian style, just say kindly to the person. No, thank you. I don't know. We, this is one of the fact, This is one of the times. for discussions. Yeah, it's all for discussion. But um, Josh, nice thanks for your time and Appreciate all the that. best for tomorrow. Nice